Clothes we wear are made up of fabric and the fabric is made of fiber. We get fiber from two sources, natural and artificial. By natural, I mean animal and plant and the artificial are man-made sources. And which are the animal sources? Like animal sources, we get silk, wool, they are the animal sources. And plant sources now? The cotton. Cotton is a plant source. And today we will learn that how to test the fabric, what we are wearing by a very small test called burn test. Today we will be performing the burn test to test the fiber which we are wearing. Ma'am, could you please light the candle? Mm -hmm. First of all, I have taken the sample of cotton. Let's see how it burns. As soon as I take it near the candle, see it ignites and it burns very fast. See, it's still burning and the smoke is coming out of it. Oh yes, it has burnt and it forms this ash. The smell of burning is like burning of a paper. Now why it is like paper? Because it is a plant product. It's made from cotton and cotton is a plant product. It contains cellulose. So for that reason it is burning like the smell of a paper. Next, we'll perform the test for wool. I'll take a small sample of wool. Let's take it near the candle. It also gets ignited but it burns little slowly than cotton. See, it's still burning. Without the candle also it's burning. And it's giving the smoke, black color smoke. In this case, we see no ash is formed. A black color bead is there. It sticks to the tongue also. And if I crush it, it gets crushed. Next, we'll take the sample of silk. This is also a natural product. We get silk from silkworm. Let's see how it burns. See, it's also catching fire and it burns quickly. It has also formed the beads. But these ones are little shining. Ma'am, did you notice the smell is again like burning of hair? Not and right. So, because both of them they are animal products, and this is animal protein, so they are smelling like that of a hair. Now let's take the nylon sample of a nylon fiber. See man, it's crumbling. And it's sticky also. Yeah, it's very sticky. It's that is the reason that we avoid nylon while doing work with fire. Oh, I see. see. It has crumbled down. And no ash in this case. No residue over here. Can you see? It's shining again. So from the burn test we have come to know that we get different type of smoke and ash formation in case of different fabrics. That's why students we always say that whenever you do some work with fire or go near fire never wear nylon clothes 
as nylon crumbles and it sticks to your skin. So be safe whenever you go near fire. Don't wear nylon. Go for cotton clothes.